Welcome to Just Web Production. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that each time I post a new video, you might be notified. And today we're going to be looking at the solutions of mathematics past paper 1 of 2016. And we're going to look at question 7. So question 7 deals with arithmetic progression. And I posted a new video uh, some of the weeks ago. On arithmetic progression so make sure you check it out because I'm going to put the link in the description box of this video so the question reads the first and second terms of an arithmetic progression are 195 respectively find the a reads 10th term B some of the first 10 terms and the formula have been given then the other thing that I'm going to share with you is that these are uh, uh, this past paper the full solutions are variable and are only going at 20 quarter so if you are interested you can call me or text me on the number that you're seeing on the screen so we are going to start with a finding the 10th term so before we look at uh, this question let us look at the formula that we use when uh, finding the 10th term so first of all you need to understand the formula so let us look at the formula so the formula that we are going to use to find uh, the 10th term is going to be written in this form so we are going to write it in this form as t n is equal to a plus open bracket n minus 1 cross bracket d and from our formula we are supposed to know uh, what each letter represents so tn is going to help us to calculate the missing term so this will help us calculate the missing term so this is just the missing term in this case the missing term that we're trying trying to calculate that's the 10th term that we've been told in our question then let let us come to a our a here represents the first term so that's your first term in the sequence this is the first term and from the question if we look at the question we have been given two numbers we have been told the first term is 100 and the second term is 95 so from that we can say our first term there it's 100 take note this is a then n represents the number of terms so that, that that's just the number of terms and the number of term that we've been told to calculate uh, it's the tenth term so here it will be 10 then what about D D is the common difference so you uh, you can give uh, the difference between an arithmetic progression and the geometric progression between the common difference and the common ratio for the arithmetic progression here we have the common difference so on arithmetic progression we use arithmetic progression AP we use the common difference but on geomet geometric progression we actually use the common ratio so take note of that 
so how you find uh the common difference you you just find the difference between two consecutive numbers for example if your sequence is two comma four comma six comma eight and you have been told to calculate the common difference here so you're just going to say d is equal to you find the difference between two consecutive numbers so you can say four minus two that's two or you can say six minus four that's two and from our example we know that we only have two we only have uh, two numbers we have been given 195 so we are going to find the common difference between these two numbers so from that let us find uh, question a since now we know the formula that we're going to use we can say that we can say our tn is equal to a plus uh, a plus open bracket n minus 1 cross bracket then d then tn here we're going to say t 10 since we have been told to calculate the tenth term so it's going to be t 10 is equal to a we know that we're just from saying that a represents the first term so the first term here we have been told is 100 as you can see the first and second term of an arithmetic progression is 195 so our first term is 100 we're going to put our 100 here plus open bracket n is the number of terms so we are trying to calculate the tenth term so that's going to be 10 minus 1 cross bracket d that's the common uh the common difference so we, we calculate the common difference by finding uh by just finding uh the difference between the two numbers so for us to find the difference here we just say 95 minus 100 a 95 minus 100 that's negative 5 so here we're going to have negative 5 and from this we can do our calculations so our tenth term will be equal to we're going to have 100 plus we're going to start with the brackets so 10 minus 1 that's 9 so our tenth term will be equal to 100 then we can say 9 multiplied by negative 5 that's a uh, negative 45 then negative 45 plus uh, neg uh, negative uh, multiplied by this positive so here we're going to have negative and we know that we have 45 so our tenth term will be 100 minus 45 that's 55 so that's going to be our tenth term so t10 is equal to 55 in some books here we're going to see they're going to write a10 is equal to 55 it's just the same thing so in other books the formula is going to be written in this form a n is equal to a plus open bracket n minus 1 cross bracket d so a n can represent t n in other books so these two formulas are the same so we have calculated our tenth term 
let us go to B B we are supposed to calculate the sum of the first 10 terms and the formula have been given so we just need to put our numbers in the formula So this is the formula that uh, we're going to use. So we're going to say S10 is equal to, and here we know that that's going to be 10 divided by 2. Then we have 2. We know our first term here is what? 100. So we're going to put our 100 there plus, and we know that's 10 minus 1. The common difference, we know that 95 minus 100, that's negative 5. So our common difference is negative 5. And we are going to simplify the brackets there. 10 divided by 2, that's 5. Open bracket. And we can say 2 multiplied by 100, that's 200. Plus, then we can say, we can say 10 minus 1, that's uh, 9. So we're going to have 9 here. Then 9 multiplied by negative 5, we're going to have a uh, negative 45 so open bracket negative 45 so s10 is equal to 5 200 positive multiplied by negative we're going to have negative 45 cross bracket there Our S10 is equal to 5, 200 minus 45, that's 155. So our S10 is equal to 5 multiplied by 155, that's 775. So our S10 is equal to 775 and we know that our t10 that's equal to 55 so that's how you find the solutions for uh, this question i hope you have understood arithmetic progression so you can buy the full pdf solutions of this past paper at 20 kwacha other past papers are also available. So if you are interested, you can call me or text me on 1973 I'll meet you next time. Peace.